religion in simple terms can be defined as the madness of changing your beautiful God-given chocolate skin with the use of various poisonous products worse than acid for a lighter skin. Women and men all over the world from all spheres of life erode the top surface of their skin all on the ground of looking fly, beautiful or sexy. In extreme cases of skin bleaching, the skin can become multicolored and mad with inflammation and scarring. I don't go for it and I don't like it when I see some oily skin, oily looking skin, you know, beside me. The smell that comes out of it is irritating on its own. Talk about the fact that you have changed what God has given you to something else. So I don't buy it and I don't go for it. Of course, I try to advise people the best thing you can do is look away from bleaching. Avoid it at all costs because at the end of the day, when the skin is finally bleached, to get it back to the original position is more expensive than when you have it the way it did before. Some studies have shown that most bleaching creams contain cancer-inducing substances like hydroquinone and mercury, which could potentially react with ultraviolet radiation from the sun greatly increasing the risk of skin cancer, aging rate, and other side effects like renal failure, dermatitis, candidiasis, cataract, yes people, cataract, and also blood poisoning, swelling of the skin, and possible birth defects in children. I am strongly against it. And the reason is because it affects our health. You can, as a result of skin bleaching, have skin cancer, which has no remedy and it claims life. So it's always good to be natural and be yourself. Uh, skin bleaching is a sin. It's like you don't appreciate the color that God has given to you. That's why you want to maybe fine tune or polish or, you know, some bleach from black to, you know, a brighter color, whereby it's destroying their skin. You know, God has made us beautiful, he made us in his own image. You don't know, we, we, we cannot say whether God is black or white, but he said he made us in his own image. So we should be proud of his color, of the color that we have. Skin bleaching. Is a sin one, then it destroys the skin. Medically, bleaching products are supposed to be used for treating pigmentation disorders like freckles, pregnancy patches, and so on, not to be rubbed all over the body as has become the norm. Bleaching or toning your skin from black to yellow is the lowest place one can fall. Low self-esteem is the malady of anyone who bleaches with a sickening belief it will make them more beautiful or acceptable. Enhancing your complexion has nothing to do with your output economically or does it enhance the opportunities that comes your way as a human being. Skin bleaching is an evil, destructive addiction that must be avoided and eradicated forever from our psyche. Self-dignity is everything. Self-confidence will open more doors any day, any time. People do that based on the fact that they want to look more beautiful and not knowing fully where that. Maintaining your normal skin is the best. People go into skin bleaching for beauty, that is to change their initial complexion. So that's what I think about skin bleaching. I don't think that skin bleaching is very, very good. It's not too good. Skin bleaching is suicide spelled wrongly. How? These bleaching creams contain hydroquinone and mercury, which are melanin inhabitors and therefore make black pigmentation less visible a condition that is usually reversed after stepping out in the sun in tropical countries like Nigeria. When the sun gets overhead, especially in tropical Africa, the heat causes the skin to precipitate and stink.
people who bleach usually emit a foul smell when the sun is extra hot. Come to think about it, why would anyone want to be a cuppy? Why would you want to trade your beautiful natural skin for sores, burns, black patches, stretch marks, lacerations, and probably death? How did we get to this point in our history? Is society responsible for black men and women bleaching your skin? Al Jazeera puts Nigeria as the country most affected by the skin whitening obsession globally. Mm. I am quiet to let this fact sink into you. The worst nightmare is that celebrities who are supposed to be role models have become role murderers. From Cape to Cairo, from Africa to the rest of the world, the black man both home and in the diaspora just always seems to have an issue with his identity. Fela Nicola Kokuti, a prophet and a gentleman of blessed memory, in his song, Yellow Fever, expressed the predicament of black bleachers by snaring and mocking the loss of identity. That a black man may be free physically, but mentally he is still colonized, is a paradox. There are always ways that you can care for your skin as a black man or black woman and still look fresh, beautiful and sexy. Let me show you how by following the steps. Step 1. Wear sunscreen creams. Every day after taking your bath, make sure you take proper care by wearing a sunscreen cream because sun exposure can lead to all kinds of havoc on your complexion. Step two, regularly clean and exfoliate your skin. Thoroughly cleanse your face with simple but nice face cleanser twice a day, morning and evening. This removes dirt and oil that may clog the pores and make you break out in sports. Third, drink lots of water and follow a healthy diet this may not make your skin light, but it will help your skin rejuvenate itself. The fourth step, you must quit smoking. Apart from the health issues that comes with smoking, when you are ill, your skin definitely will not look good. They will look dry, old, and saggy. Hey people, don't be deceived. Beauty is skin deep. It goes beyond the surface. What comes out of a man is what portrays him good, bad, or ugly, not what is outside of him. Please stop the vicious circle. Stay alive. Stop bleaching.